Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reefy Ron, and today we are going to be doing some builds for the Hurricane Guided Rocket System. The new weapon that Gunner has, and talking about the builds that I use, this will not be talking about overclocks, we'll talk about that later, um, once I've gotten to try all the overclocks, because currently I have not got to try them all yet. Uh, actually, I actually only have three of them. So just like my other builds, I'll be going over my standard build first, one that I take on the majority of missions, and then I'll be doing some other uh, builds that work well with the Hurricane as well. So first up, we have Missile Belt in Tier 1. This is just more ammo. You get 72 more shots. I always like more ammo, although 72, you can get away without using it. So uh, it's still probably the one that I take the most often but you don't really need to. Our second modification is pressurized gas cylinder. This increases your damage, so you go from 16 to 20, which is pretty nice. Um, you can kill things a little bit quicker with that, and you'll be doing 20 area damage as well as 20 uh, direct damage, so if you hit something directly, you should be doing 40 damage. So it'll, it'll work really well into crowds, and I actually really like this for damage. And our last tier one is increased blast radius. This makes our blast radius go from 1.4 meters to 2 meters. So a bigger explosion radius, that's always good too. If you want to use this in an AOE build, you can do that. Usually I take missile belt uh, for my standard build, but I will switch over to pressurized gas cylinder too because I do really like that one. I don't take the increased blast radius all that much, but it's still a good choice. In tier 2, we have bigger jet engine. This makes it so your turn time is 100% faster, so your missiles can turn quicker. So if you're moving your gun around, it's going to be a little bit easier to steer them. And the missiles fly faster than they normally do by 33%. That's all pretty good. Our second one is anti-tank missiles. This gives you 100% more armor breaking. This is the one that I usually take um, for my standard build. Both of these are good too. I like the uh, more armor breaking though, so if I'm shooting things like Praetorians, I can break their armor a bit faster. For tier 3, we have nano missiles. This increases your overall magazine. This doubles it, so you get 36 more rounds in the magazine. That's always good. Or we have improved feed mechanism, which gives us one more rate of fire. Now the rate of fire on this isn't super quick, so actually getting four rate of fire is pretty good. I still usually go with the nano missiles, just so that I have the extra magazine for my usual build, but rate of fire is good too. In tier four, we have shrapnel load. This increases our weak spot damage by 50%. That's pretty good. That makes it so every, anytime we hit a grunt, um, we're dealing, assuming we're not going with damage. If you are going with damage, then it's 40. You hit a weak spot, that's 80. Um, and this gives you another 50% on top of that, so you would do 120 with that build. This one you would do less, but this still allows you to one-shot headshot grunts, I believe. Um, which, that's pretty good. Or you could go with Zip Fuel. This increases your area damage by 4, so you get 24 more. So you go from 20 to 24. That's also pretty nice. This also makes it so you hit an even 40. So either way that you want to do it, uh, at least if you hit something directly, it'll be an even 40. Otherwise, it'll splash more, um, or at least splash more damage onto enemies. Both these are good. I usually go with the shrapnel load just so that I can one-shot headshot grunts. It's just really nice to have. Um, but uh, both of these are pretty useful. <laughs> and then in tier 5, we have napalm infused rounds, which this one has been nerfed and then buffed. It used to be quite good when it first came out where uh, you could shoot a Praetorian, I believe, four times? Or maybe it was just three times, and it would catch fire. I think now it's four times. It used to be, I think, ten times. I could be wrong about that still. Um, this still might not light him up in four. It might do five or six. It's not as strong as it used to be, but it still seems fine. Uh, it's mostly used for big single target enemies. It's not really used for smaller enemies because you'll likely kill them before the fire affects them anyway. So uh, if you want more direct damage, then this one is a better choice. Our second one is uh, uncontrollable decompression. This one has a 25% chance of stunning every time that you hit an enemy, and it can stun for 3 seconds. That's pretty good. Um, I really enjoy this one. This one seems pretty good also for single target enemies. Against grunts, it can kind of be useful, because this can also stun based on the splash damage. It doesn't have to hit directly. So, stunning multiple enemies is pretty nice when it does happen. And then our last one is nitroglycerin compound, which this one makes it so your damage is increased the further away... Uh, the miss or the further the missiles travel that can be pretty useful too it really helps for taking out things like menaces things like uh, acid spitters web spitters anything that wants to stay at a, a reasonable distance from you this will help 
Um, I also don't recall if this one got changed. I think it did recently to where it now has longer effective range than it did before, or maybe it has faster damage scale up than it did before. Either way, it, it feels pretty good for me. Usually I go with the stun just because it's handy to have and it's nice to stun multiple enemies or to stun Praetorians. Um, and this is my general setup for the uh, hurricane. If you wanted a more damaging build, you could go with the gas pressurization, go with anti-tank missiles, um, still probably go with nano missiles for this one, go with shrapnel rounds, and then go with napalm rounds or nitroglycerin rounds. Either one of these is fine. This will do really high damage to pretty much anything that you're shooting, and you can shoot it for quite a while. If you wanted to go for an AoE build and be better against crowds, you would probably want to go with increased blast radius. Um, either of these is fine. Um, it really depends what you want to be using this for. Bigger jet engines, fine if you want to be shooting and turning your shots pretty often, dropping, you know, maybe missiles down onto enemies, but the anti-tank missiles is also really good. Nano missiles again for a larger magazine, zip fuel for more AOE, and then either the decompression or the nitroglycerin rounds for just more damage and more status effects with the stun. And then if you just wanted a really high amount of DPS you could have, you could either go with missile belt or pressurized uh, gas cylinder. Either one of these is fine. Go with anti-tank rounds, improved feed mechanism, shrapnel weak spot, or the zip fuel. Either of these are fine. And then nitroglycerin rounds. As you can see, there's quite a few different ways to build the hurricane. I've had fun mixing and matching because it actually lends itself pretty well to mixing and matching uh, all of your mods. I don't really think it has any bad ones, at least that I would say, at least right now. Uh, things are probably still bound to change because they still seem to be balancing these. But right now, I'd recommend those three to four builds. Um, I've had pretty good success with them. I am, I'm really liking the Hurricane. I think it's really fun. I don't know if it's necessarily better or worse than the Thunderhead or the uh, Lead Storm. I'll have to wait and see with all the overclocks. Um, I still, It's probably not going to beat the Thunderhead or the Minigun at certain things, but I might contend with them at doing other tasks. So tell me what your thoughts and builds are down in the comments below of the Hurricane. Special thanks to the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. If you would like to be a part of that, there are links down in the description. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!